good? What's good? Welcome to the Epic Sports Critics. I am Antoine. Yeah, had a couple of little sports things that happened today. Wanted to get my thoughts on it. Uh, a couple of stories that popped up. Um, nothing too big, but, you know, I'm going to get my thoughts on some of this. Uh, so, Dez Bryant. Dez Bryant is in the news. Uh, former uh, Dallas Cowboys wide receiver is now a free agent. Been a free agent since the, the end of the season, last season, and <clears throat> and he ain't got picked up. And he's talking about where he's gonna go. He's been tweeting. He, he's he's a tweeter. He's definitely a tweeter. And <laughs> and uh, he's been talking about you know he he don't want to go nowhere where he ain't gonna win nothing. Blah blah blah. And I'm looking like uh, this. Uh, you ain't as good as you thought you were. So. You should just find a team and put your head down and play. That's just my opinion on Daz. <laughs> so Daz Bryant is talking about going to the uh, Cleveland Browns. Apparently the Cleveland Browns have reached out to Daz, and Daz was like, you know, I don't know, maybe. You know, let, me, let me see what you look like in the preseason. And so he liked what he saw the first preseason game. So now he's like, I'm about to go there and try to work out or whatever. I don't know if he's going to go for a workout or just a meeting. I'm not sure. But looks like uh, it's, it's it's mutual um, it's, mu- it's mutual interest in um, Dez and uh, Dez with the with the Browns, the Cleveland Browns. And I'm looking like, will this help the Browns? Yeah, hell yeah, it'll help the Browns uh, because they got rid of uh, they got rid of Corey Coleman. They had a that was a uh, first round draft pick for a couple seasons ago. He had started off strong. Had some injury problems, and then he kind of faded out. And I didn't know he was gone until, until I was looking at some uh, like a couple weeks ago. And they was like, "Yeah, Corey Coleman went to the Buffalo, went to Buffalo for almost nothing." I'm like, "What?" Guess he was a locker room issue. Guess he was a little a little jerk or something, a little asshole in the locker room. I don't know. But um, they got rid of him. So Gordon, Josh Gordon, he's a question mark. Um, Josh Gordon was uh, was like a stud receiver for a couple years ago <clears throat> stay he's been um, suspended a lot because of uh, because of marijuana this dude cost himself millions of dollars because he kept popping dirty for marijuana I I, I I don't know what to say about that dude man uh, so anyway this is his final chance if I was him I'd never touch weed again I ain't no will sometime no no don't even touch it I don't even want to smell it if it cost me that much money, I don't want nothing to do with it. But so he's a question mark. We don't know what he's gonna be looking like. He ain't played in a minute, so you know, uh Jarvis Landry just came over uh from Miami and he uh looked good, he looked good in preseason. He's what he's probably their best receiver. So they got a number one and number two, but we don't know exactly what's gonna happen with that. So they, they needed more depth in the wide receiver position. So um, they reached out to Des, and so I'm looking like, will this help them? And you know, it's, it it definitely will be a great addition, and we'll see who's going to be the clear cut number one and number two. I think Des need to be number two, but uh, I think Des need to stop being picky and just go whoever want, whoever want to sign him. He needs to go there, and I think this is a good spot for him because one. Cleveland is on the rise. Cleveland, they might not win the title. They might not even go to playoff, but they they gonna have a decent season. Looking at the additions they did and all the uh, improvements they made in defense and the draft, so I'm looking like okay, they gonna have a decent season. If you're looking for somebody that can be a good team, go to Des. I know he, he want to go to New York or or. Uh, he want to go to a team that's going to play Dallas <clears throat> uh, two times a year just so he can get his revenge or whatever. But we ain't got time for all that, man. You ain't got time for all that. Um, so I think it's a good spot for him. He needs to just keep his head down, make plays, and, you know, try to uh, further his career. Because I think he think he better than he is. Uh, I'm looking at – they looking at, like, giving him league minimum or something. I'm looking like, Damn league minimum <laughs> you you acting like you the, you the, you should be getting you know big free agent money but they they want to give you money just like you another guy so i don't know 
But maybe that can resurrect his career, man. Maybe he can have a good year. We'll see. But uh, I just want to get my thoughts on that. I saw uh, he's going to be working out for Cleveland on Thursday. So uh, I have some more on that. Uh, my Check out my stream on uh, Sundays at 11, 11 a.m. Central Time. We will be streaming live. Um, um, my partner and I, Wilbert, will be streaming live. And I have more on that story uh, on the stream. I'm pretty sure it's either he's going to sign or not sign by then. So uh, I'll follow up on that on Sunday. So uh, thanks for checking out the video. And I'm going to be out of here. Peace. Doing for a G, all I want to be. It's all that I could be. All that I could be. That's why they fuck with me. Yeah.